We have Beyonce dumps Jay-Z after feds link him to Diddy's crimes. Now we know that P. Diddy and Jay-Z did come up together in the 80s and 90s, and they blew up, so they are in close association with each other. But not only that, we also have to understand this, that Jay-Z is one of the ones that do rituals with witches and things of that nature. We have pictures of it right here with Jay-Z and Marina. Uh, I think her name is Mar Marina Abramovich. She's a very well-known witch. You know, it looks like they're doing some type of ritual here. Either way you put it, he's hanging out with a witch, banging heads against each other. It's just weird vibes going on. You feel what I'm saying? Very weird vibes. And then we also have to understand this, too, when it comes to Beyonce. Let me play this clip really quick. No, oh, okay. I, I didn't know because you know they, they they tell me Beyonce's a witch and shit like that oh, that we is. should be scared. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, she's an Ifa. So when she wears her yellow, that's Oshun. Oh, of, you know riches and beauty and love and. So this is a this is a witch, a celebrity witch, saying how Beyonce is also a witch. So they both indulge in this type of godlessness, witchcraft for the money and fortune. So we have to understand that their their relationship and what it's built off of. Is the love of money. They love money more than they love each other. So that's why it makes sense that if Jay Z's over here getting caught and getting taken down with P. Diddy, Beyonce finna dip and say, I had nothing to do with that. Let's see what they have to say in this video right here. And I'm like, wait, what are you doing? That stuff, that's <laughs> me and Jay Z stuff. This ain't got nothing to do with you, bro. You lucky Solange wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, you lucky Solange, Solange wasn't there. Solange, yeah, I would have had his uh, reboot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not Beyonce filing for divorce from Jay and separating her assets from his. Who could have known that Jay-Z being outed for being a bad guy would be the last stray for Beyonce to file for divorce and leave Jay-Z? Chili, this woman has stayed with him through thick and thin and through multiple affairs, and it was starting to look like she was never ever going to leave him no matter what. But now that he is being set up to take the fall like Diddy, she is dipping. You know how everyone's been points, so she is trying to dip as fast as she can. And one thing you can trust 50 to do, it's spilling the tea on shady shenanigans shenanigans in Hollywood, especially when it's people he has beef with. And there is nobody that he has a bigger beef with than Beyonce and Jay-Z. Well, Diddy comes pretty close, so y'all can see why 50 has been on this drama since day one. Well, as it turns out, 50 has heard the inside tea on how Beyonce is planning to leave Jay-Z, and he is determined to make sure that she also faces some consequences. So he has been exposing her as well. He literally took a break from trolling Diddy and Jay-Z to focus on Beyonce because he wants us to know that she is not not what she seems to be, and that the victim identity that fans gave her couldn't possibly be further from the truth. According to 50, the reason people think that Beyonce is an innocent bystander is that there is a considerable age gap between her and Jay-Z. In an interview, Beyonce spoke about their age gap, saying, I was 18 when we first met, 19 when we started dating. There was no rush. No one expected me to run off and get married. They officially started dating when Beyonce was 19 and Jay-Z was 31, a substantial Damn. age gap that had fans Fans buzzing, with some even tossing around speculations. But here's where things That's take a, a darker turn. One. In a 2007 interview with Charlie Rose, Jay-Z mentioned meeting Beyonce 10 years ago, placing their first encounter in 1997. So let's crunch some numbers here. Beyonce would have been a mere 16 years old at the time. Heck, depending on the exact timing, she might have even been 15. And Jay-Z, well, he was pushing his late 20s, around 27 or 28. Wrap your head around that for a second. A guy his age going after a teenager like Beyonce? That's it's not just shady, it's downright messed up. Understandably, a lot of folks view Beyonce as the victim in this whole saga. Whenever Jay-Z is under fire for his alleged shady dealings, Beyonce tends to get pushed to the sidelines in the conversation. Even when there are whispers about the power couple using their influence to throw wrenches into other folks' careers in the industry, the focus remains mostly on Jay-Z, while Beyonce gets a free pass, what with her being the media's golden child and all. But hold your horses, cause 50 Cent isn't having any of that. Nope he's ready to spill the tea and clear the air. When blogger Storm Monroe dropped the bomb about how Beyonce was making plans to leave Jay-Z a couple of months back, fans immediately started painting Beyonce as the hero for finally cutting ties with Jay-Z, giving her a round of applause for making such a bold move. What I've heard about them as a couple is that they've been living separate lives for a very how is How is divorce a heroic move? <laughs> Yo, people are funny, bro. Fans were obsessed with the thought that Beyonce was finally going to be free of Jay-Z's control. Now, what y'all think? Y'all think Beyonce is going to divorce Jay-Z? I can see it happening. The only thing is that 
after Jay Z, she she's not really gonna go public with any other guy. There's no other guy to really go public with, so she's gonna have to really struggle to just keep all her dudes silent. Even though she probably has, she probably honestly, yo, Beyonce probably been busting it open for a couple different dudes for these past couple years, but it's all low key. I'm not gonna lie, these celebrities be having swinger parties and manipulation, especially because Storm Monroe claimed that the time for Jay-Z to face the music was getting closer because he was about to be exposed. And we're not just talking about your everyday scandals here, like Jay-Z supposedly meddling with careers or whatnot. Friendship between Jay-Z and Diddy kind of makes sense now, you know, birds of a feather and all that stuff. And now that the streets are saying that Jay-Z could be even shadier and more sinister than Diddy, y'all know that the rumor mill has gone into overdrive. I mean, have y'all seen it. the allegations it that could, Diddy that is facing? True. To say that Jay-Z could be even worse than that is just scary, and it kind of makes us wonder what exactly these celebs get into when the cameras stop rolling. The worst thing we thought about Jay-Z was that he was an unrepentant cheat who had the audacity to cheat on the Beyonce with multiple women. And if you're wondering, Becky with the good hair isn't the only woman that Jay-Z has been accused of cheating with because there's a whole laundry list of them. According to people in the know, the honeymoon phase of Beyonce and Jay-Z's relationship didn't last very long because he allegedly started cheating on her only a few months after after they started dating, and one of his alleged mistresses that Jay-Z stabbed the guy was that Jay-Z found out that he was the guy that Charlie replaced him with, and he got jealous, so he stabbed the guy. I don't know about y'all, but getting jealous at your former affair partner for moving on while you're dating Beyonce is crazy. I mean, make it make sense, and 50 Cent isn't just talking out of thin air. Rapper Cameron's come forward to back him up, confirming that the stabbing was indeed over Charlie. It, was, it wasn't over no money. It wasn't over being righteous. What was it over? A chick? What we don't do mm. is we don't fuck with our homies, ex bitch. Mm. Bow. You feel me? You know who that is now, right? He said bow. Charlie Baltimore. Charlie Charlie Baltimore. Baltimore. <laughs> now, with all this, y'all would think that 50 would be on Beyonce's side in this thing, but that's not the case here because he isn't exactly. So I'm saying, on if they get divorced, Jay Z seemed like the dude to kill the next the guy that she ended up talking to. Like Jay Z really seemed like that dude, bro. Team Beyonce. See, according huge. to 50 Cent, even though Jay Z is a bad guy, he believes that Beyonce is the super villain that everybody thinks that Jay Z is. And if there is one person that can tell, it's 50 Cent because he has been beefing with the Carters for a long time, so he has a lot of dirt on them. I mean, one thing 50 is known for is digging up dirt on his ops. If you don't know the story of how 50 Cent and Jay Z became ops, let me spill the tea. To be fair, it was all 50's fault because he randomly dissed Jay Z and many other rappers in his song. How to rob. He took shots at Jay-Z and many other rappers in the song and he was doing it for clout. Five has been a troll since the very beginning and he was chasing clout with the song. He went after a whole bunch of other top artists too, from Lil' Kim to Foxy Brown, Diddy, Missy Elliott, Will Smith, you name it. Nobody was safe from 50's trolling antics. 50 Cent threw shade at Jay-Z with lines like, what? Jigga just sold, like four milli? He got something to live for. Don't want a man putting four through that Bentley coupe door. Ouch. Talk about hitting where it hurts. Most rappers who 50 name dropped saw through him and just ignored him. But Jay-Z has never been the type to let something like that slide. So he hit back with his own diss track titled, It's Hot, Some Like It Hot, where he didn't mince words, rapping, Go against Jiga, you're dense, I'm about a dollar, what the F is, 50 cents. And just like that, shots were fired and the beef was ignited. 50 Cent eventually came clean and admitted that he was chasing clout with the song because he wanted the other rappers to respond to him. In an interview with Rolling Stone, 50 Cent said, When he responded, I was complimented. He wouldn't say nothing back to somebody he didn't think was hot. I never went to radio until after he said that about me. I don't know if my career would be where it's at if he didn't respond. But just because he was chasing clout doesn't mean that the beef wasn't real because 50 Cent genuinely disliked Jay-Z. In another interview, 50 Cent admitted that the reason he had a problem with Jay-Z was that Jay-Z felt like he was the greatest. In another interview, he said, he has a king complex. He thinks he's effing Jesus. You know what I mean? This jehovah ish I'm just watching him. He said something one time I didn't like those little things subliminal things for me that's the punk way to do things mm. Jay-Z tried to deny the rumors of the beef saying that's that why he says hova because it's Jehovah, almost like Jehovah which is like another word for God crazy he and 50 were fine you have and then you have um Kanye West saying Jesus or Yeezy they all trying to be Jesus bro why they all trying to be, come on, why, you, you can't be Jesus, you can't, it, it won't work, come on, but it's like the devil trying to be God.
fine, but 50 was not about to let this narrative fly, and he was quick to come out and deny that he and Jay-Z were on good terms. He also claimed that they would never be friends, saying, We don't have those kinds of relationships. These people are people I associate with. We are in the same business. We are not necessarily friends. We don't call each other for no reason. Now, most people seem to think that Solange is the only Knowles sister who knows how to throw hands, but as it turns out, Beyonce also throws hands as well, and she literally stepped up to 50 Cent and dared him to step up to her her and tussle for daring to beef with her man. Even though she and Jay-Z had not started dating when his beef with 50 Cent started, she still took Jay-Z's side and things got so messy that 50 Cent revealed that she even tried to fight him. She jumped out, she was like, oh, oh, oh. and I'm like, wait, what are you doing? That stuff, that's me and Jay-Z stuff. This ain't got nothing to do with you, girl. Come so on. who wasn't there? It, me, I'm talking to Jay. I'm talking, talking to Jay. Jay. Yeah. I talked to Jay, she jumped out, come over, I said, oh. Yeah. They about to jump you. You lucky Solange wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, you lucky Y'all Solange wasn't there. Solange was there. I would have had a, a uh, reboot. <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce squaring up to 50 Cent for the beef is kind of wild because, girl, what? But this explains why 50 Cent has never bought into all that talk of her being an innocent bystander because he has seen what she is capable of doing and he actually believes she's more than meets the eye and not in a good way. But that's not the end of the story because 50 Cent also believes that while Jay-Z might be bad, Beyonce could be even worse. He also believes that contrary to what people might believe, Beyonce might be Jay-Z's handler and might be the mastermind behind a lot of the shady stuff they've been accused of. Allegedly, of course, I don't know if y'all remember this, but Beyonce's former bodyguard spilled the tea about two years ago, accusing her and Jay-Z of blackballing singer Carrie Hilson's career. Beyonce and Jay-Z will do anything to destroy anyone who speaks out against them. Okay, I get the threats, but you have to remember one thing. I know your deepest secrets. I know how this career you got. For some reason, whose name is Kimberly Thompson, Beyonce allegedly dabbles in the occult. She spoke to the Daily Beast and the interviewer said she claims Witchcraft. that for some reason, Bay has started a campaign of harassment against her. That includes extreme witchcraft, dark magic, and magic spells of sexual mo- she also claims the Lemonade star murdered her kitten. Thompson believes Beyonce has been tapping her phones and controlling her finances. It's unclear why Thompson believes the singer is allegedly doing all this to her, but she is adamant it all stems from Bay. Kimberly also went live on Instagram to speak on Beyonce. This person was casting spells and manipulating me and controlling my job situations, my relationships, all just a... Uh, uh, a very wicked uh, tactic to just keep me down and keep me under some type of control. Um. This situation caused a lot of drama, and some fans started to suspect that there was something going on there. At first, a lot of people ignored Kimberly's claims and talked about how she was looking for clout or trying to get attention by using Beyonce's name, which is pretty much guaranteed to get her media attention. But when she took things a step further and filed a restraining order against Beyonce, well, that got people's attention real quick. Even 50 Cent sat up and took notice. But according to 50, there's more to this story because Beyonce has been hiding in plain sight for a long time. Y'all know how I said that Jay-Z has been chatting on Beyonce for a long time from the start. People have been mocking her for a long time for just sitting down and taking this, letting Jay-Z walk all over her. Now, according to 50 Cent, she's not just sitting back and taking it. Nope, she's been quietly making moves behind the scenes. You know how Jay-Z went on and on about how they worked through their marriage after his infidelity, how they patched things up? Well, according to 50 Cent, there's more to that story. Well, for us, we chose to fight for our love for our family to give our kids a different outcome. You see, see, uh, you know, to break that, that cycle. Um, for black men and women, you know, just to see a different outcome, like you were saying, it's not this celebrity couple. We, we were never a celebrity couple. We were a couple who just happened to be celebrities. Yeah. Like, like real people. Yeah. But then 50 has more to say about this, and he is claiming that family therapy wasn't the only thing that helped them fix their marriage, because there is another angle to the whole thing, and let me tell you, it's one big juicy scandal. So here's the tea. 50 Cent claimed that Beyonce has been allegedly taking matters into her own hands and handling Jay-Z's side pieces, if you catch my drift. He claimed that she allegedly goes over and beyond to ruin the lives of Jay-Z's side pieces. And it's not just that 50 Cent was making things up, because recent reports have surfaced suggesting Beyonce's involvement in Tiara Marie's career downturn. Now, back in the day, everyone knew Jay-Z had a soft spot for Tiara, but we chalked it up to her undeniable talent. Um, Tiara Marie. 
Yeah. Okay, and she's the first lady of the rock. Or she's the call? princess. According to 50 Cent, there was more to the story. Rumor has it, Tiaira wasn't just involved with Jay-Z. She was allegedly messing around with a few other guys, too, despite not being legal at the time. As I have told you before, Aaliyah was essayed as a minor by several producers and was treated like a piece of meat to be bought and sold by different producers up until the time that she passed away. A couple of years after she passed away, a fairly large record producer started making some calls about a singer he had working out of his studio. She was 15 and eager, and soon, different label heads were scouting her. And this is allegedly Tierra Marie. When they heard her voice and then saw how she looked, they started scouting her even harder. She was sleeping with one of the producers, the one who made the initial calls. And I don't know who this is, you guys can take a guess. Soon, she was sold to this pseudo corn star and celebrity sibling. And also take a guess at that one. He loves controlling vulnerable women. It is his specialty. Anyway, he started controlling the career of this singer. He brought her to the attention of this A-plus list rapper and mogul allegedly Jay-Z. Another spicy blind item went viral that claimed that Beyonce allegedly caught wind of the affair and demanded that Jay-Z cut ties with Tiara. But allegedly, that wasn't enough for Beyonce. Allegedly, she took it a step further and decided to sabotage Tiara's career as well. And he signed her to a deal. By the time all of the ink was dry, she was just shy of being legal. But that didn't stop the mogul. He liked to sample the new talent. He was sampling her on a fairly regular basis, but he was also involved with the current a list singer who was in his face every day. And this could allegedly be Beyonce. The thing is though, that corn star in charge of her career was feuding with the mogul and told the mogul he would not be allowed to hook up with the singer again. I assume he thought- Are we gonna leave that right there? Cause we enter in a whole entire different territory when it comes to the relationship. But comment down below, do you guys believe that Beyonce and Jay-Z will ever have a divorce and let that be known publicly. What do you guys think? And also, it'll be very interesting to see both Diddy. I feel like Diddy is already under the water when it comes to all these allegations and lawsuits filed against him. And like Jaguar was saying, Jay-Z is much more subtle and patient and low-key with the dirty work that he does so just to see things that jay-z did come out to the public would be very shocking i would say for the culture because that'll just be very revealing that'll let people know yeah you can't look you can't look at these celebrities as if they're gods or perfect which i already know that's how people look at beyonce queen b she's so perfect blah 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 and when it comes to the evidence being provided that she actually does witchcraft people don't want to believe it but it's true you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day it really Depends where your morals stand. Do you believe in God? Do you use God's rules as a guideline to life? Or no? Are you just full of yourself, very egotistical, and you make your own rules, kind of like how Jay-Z and Beyonce do. It's like, yo, whatever I want, we're going to do it and get it. Nothing's right, nothing's wrong. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you do smash the like button, though. Make sure you do subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one the same way you're going to catch me in the next one. Peace.